wave fronts and rays in two dimensions, a wave front is a line on which the disturbance has the same phase at all points. The crests of waves in a ripple tank can be thought of as wave fronts. A vibrating source produces a succession of wave fronts, all of the same shape. In a ripple tank, straight wave fronts are produced by a vibrating bar, a line source, and circular wave fronts are produced by a vibrating ball, a point source. A line drawn at right angles to a wave front, which shows its direction of travel, is called a ray. The properties of waves, reflection at a plane surface, refraction, and diffraction, can be illustrated by the behavior of water waves in a ripple tank. Straight water waves are falling on a metal strip placed in a ripple tank at an angle of 60 degrees, i.e. the angle I between the direction of travel of the waves and the normal to the strip is 60 degrees, as is the angle between the wave front and the strip, the perpendicular to the strip at the point where the incident ray strikes is called the normal. The wave fronts are represented by straight lines and can be thought of as the crests of the waves. They are at right angles to the direction of travel, i.e. to the rays. The angle of reflection R is 60 degrees. Incidence at other angles shows that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are always equal. When the plate is at an angle to the waves, their direction of travel in the shallow region is bent towards the normal reflection at a plane surface. The change in the direction of travel of the waves, which occurs when their speed and hence wavelength changes, is termed refraction. The direction of travel is bent towards the normal in the shallow region. The speed of waves also changes, and refraction occurs, when waves move from one medium to another. For example, light waves are refracted where they move from air to glass. Diffraction through a narrow gap. Straight water waves in a ripple tank are meeting gaps formed by obstacles. The gap is narrow. The wave fronts curve around the edges of the gap producing a circular wave front. Diffraction due to an edge or white gap. The gap is wide. And the wave front remains straight, except at the edges of the gap where some curvature around the edges occurs. Reflection of light. This happens when a miner is placed at the entrance of a concealed drive to give warning of approaching traffic, for example. An ordinary mirror is made by depositing a thin layer of silver on one side of a piece of glass and protecting it with paint. The silver at the back of the glass acts as the reflecting surface. A plane mirror is produced when the reflecting surface is flat. Law of Reflection The law of reflection states. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane. This means that they could all be drawn on a flat sheet of paper. Real and Virtual Images a real image is one which can be produced on a screen, as in a pinhole camera, and is formed by rays that actually pass through the screen. A virtual image cannot be formed on a screen. The virtual image is produced by rays which seem to come from it but do not pass through it. The image in a plane mirror is virtual. Rays from a point on an object are reflected at the mirror and appear to our eyes to come from a point behind the mirror where the rays would intersect when extrapolated backwards. Properties of the image The image in a plane mirror is as far behind the mirror as the object is in front, with the line joining the same points on object and image being perpendicular to the mirror. The same size as the object. Virtual it follows that the orientation of an image depends on the orientation of the object. When the object is aligned parallel to the surface of the mirror, the image has the same orientation. But when the object is aligned parallel to the normal to the mirror, the orientation of the image is at 180 degrees relative to that of the object. For intermediate positions the relative orientation of object and image is twice the angle between the direction of orientation of the object and the surface of the mirror. Refraction Although light travels in straight lines in a transparent material, such as air, if it passes into a different material, such as water, it changes direction at the boundary between the two, i.e. it is bent. 
The bending of light when it passes from one material, called a medium, to another is called refraction. It causes effects such as the coin trick. Facts about refraction A ray of light is bent towards the normal when it enters an optically denser medium at an angle. For example from air to glass as in figure March 2nd, 21. So the angle of refraction are smaller than the angle of incidence I. A ray of light is bent away from the normal when it enters an optically less dense medium, for example from glass to air. A ray emerging from a parallel sided block is parallel to the ray entering, but is displaced sideways. A ray traveling along the normal direction at a boundary is not refracted. Optically denser means having a greater refraction effect, the actual density may or may not be greater. Critical angle When light passes at small angles of incidence from an optically dense to a less dense medium, such as from glass to air, there is a strong refracted ray and a weak ray reflected back into the denser medium. As well as refraction, some internal reflection occurs. Increasing the angle of incidence increases the angle of refraction. At a certain angle of incidence, called the critical angle, C, the angle of refraction is 90 degrees and the refracted ray passes along the boundary between the two media. For angles of incidence greater than C, the refracted ray disappears and all the incident light is reflected inside the denser medium. The light does not cross the boundary and is said to undergo total internal reflection. On a hot day the road ahead may appear to shimmer with water. The layers of air close to the surface of the road are hotter and less dense than those above and refraction of sunlight occurs. When the critical angle of incidence is reached, the light undergoes total internal reflection, resulting in a mirage which disappears as you move towards it. Multiple images in a mirror. An ordinary mirror silvered at the back forms several images of one object, because of multiple reflections inside the glass. These blur the main image I, which is formed by one reflection at the silvering, especially if the glass is thick. The problem is absent in front silvered mirrors but such mirrors are easily damaged. Totally reflecting prisms. The defects of mirrors are overcome if 45 degrees right angled glass prisms are used. The critical angle of ordinary glass is about 42 degrees and a ray falling normally on face PQ of such a prism hits face PR at 45 degrees. Total internal reflection occurs and the ray is turned through 90 degrees. Totally reflecting prisms replace mirrors in good periscopes. Light can also be reflected through 180 degrees by a prism, this happens in binoculars. Converging and diverging lenses. Lenses are used in optical instruments such as cameras, spectacles, microscopes, and telescopes, they often have spherical surfaces and there are two types. A converging, or convex, lens is thickest in the center and bends light inwards, backslash. A diverging, or concave, lens is thinnest in the center and spreads light out it always gives a diminished image. The center of a lens is its optical center, C. The line through C at right angles to the lens is the principal axis. The action of a lens can be understood by treating it as a number of prisms, most with the tip removed, each of which bends the ray towards its base. The center acts as a parallel-sided block, 